The feds are in search of P. Diddy right now so they can make the arrest related to Tupac, Cassie, Kim Porter, Heavy D, and everybody that got affected by the situation. When they raided P. Diddy's house, they found in his storage unit garage that he had a lot of items, the old phones, he had the security camera footage from when Cassie used to be living in the house, like back when he told her he couldn't leave and she had to literally stay in the basement for like 23 hours a day. They even found the fingerprints and the scratches on the wall from way back then they found the fingernails that she had like literally the extensions and the nails and everything that she had p diddy he forgot to clean out everything and when they found them text messages and them old phones they had a blackberry that had conversations between keefy d and p diddy about how they was gonna set up like another thing that was going on man and the fact that this whole thing about suge knight calling out Diddy and Mike Tyson and 50 Cent calling out Diddy and saying that he was wrong for that man because at the end of the day they all support Tupac, Kim Porter, Kamora Lee Simmons, Heavy D and all of them if you guys are supporters of them I want you to put 222 in the comment section and like this video because the details from the whole raid they found a lot of evidence leading back to P Diddy and it's all basically his fault from 27 years he could have really threw a lot of the stuff out once they got in and they got the ADT footage it's a third party security company so Diddy don't even own that footage they contacted ADT and literally got all the like the camera angles the different doorbells and everything like that and it shows exactly who was inside and outside of P Diddy's house it shows everything between him and Cassie it's got the arguments it's got the fights Gene Deal is willing to take the stand and testify against P Diddy to make sure that the justice comes for Tupac and everybody else including Cassie and Kim Porter man if you guys want to get justice for the, all of them all the victims and you support Tupac and Kim Porter and you guys want the justice like this video subscribe to the channel put the two two twos in the comment section let me know what you think about diddy because he's getting a lot of what he deserves man after all these years he can't just walk away clean scot free it's not the right thing and people got to understand that the reason why all these people are coming forward because was cassie and keefy d was really the people who started the ball off like it was a snowball effect as soon as keefy d got raided in the summer and he started testifying and going into the interrogation room and he was pointing fingers at Diddy he talked about how Diddy he was the one who sent the million dollars he already knew Diddy and everything he was even talking about how Keefy D was at the Biggie party right before Biggie got hit up and so it's no coincidence man I want to send my condolences to Biggie Tupac Kim poor everybody who basically isn't here no more and it's too late because they the ones that really deserve the justice for them man and P Diddy after all like he's going down for this now every nobody wants to have anything to do with P Diddy no more because they don't want to get caught up in the whole mix of things man this is how people lose friends they lose their reputations because they did something that they didn't think they was gonna get caught for and now it literally is brought to the forefront of the whole world and everybody looking at P Diddy scratching their head looking at him sideways like why would you have a billion dollars you had your clothes inside of big stores like department stores Neiman Marcus Nordstrom Rack everywhere like that right he had his stuff in Macy's and Dillard's and he still was acting a fool doing things that actually made it to where now he lost all of that and the millions of dollars that he had to pay and the damages to Cassie to the victims families the accusers and they keep coming this is what's gonna run Diddy bone dry like he's not gonna have any more money left to pay these allegations after it's all said and done because they just hit him with another big one another person is stepping forward saying that Diddy did the same thing to them and now they're trying to seek the full justice and they're going to hold them accountable to the fullest extent of the law this is why a lot of people need to realize that Diddy should have just played it safe as soon as he got that type of money he should have known that he got lucky and that he can't be playing around like that but at the end of the day a lot of people they feel like they got the egos and everything they feel like they're on top of the world and no one can touch them and they're untouchable he felt like he was immortal and that's not what reality is man so he finally ended up getting caught for all of this 
everything is getting exposed now people are coming out and saying everything about diddy including the fact of the relationships that he used to have his exes are coming out and talking about the things that they had in their arguments because had they had known that he was like this they knew the little red flags from back then they would have tried to help cassie jennifer lopez and every kimora lee simmons they would have tried to help them get away from diddy a long time ago why do you think j-lo left so quick and Cassie couldn't really leave because she was working for him and she was scared of what Diddy was going to do to her if the word got out because at the end of the day, they knew the only people inside that house was Diddy, Cassie, Gene Deal, and Usher and Kevin Hart, man. At the end of the day, after all them parties and everything like that, people saw way too much, man, and they knew for a fact that Diddy, he was actually playing a charade the whole time. He was acting like one thing, but when you really see him in person he was a whole different type of person man and this is why a lot of people you can't be like you can't trust nobody especially with all the celebrities and everything like you never know what these people's real motives are and what they really do behind closed doors like you see him on tv you see him on social media and everything you see him in the music videos and the songs just like suge knight said he'd be all in the videos dancing and everything they want the spotlight so they could trick you into making you believe that they're one type of way but then once they got you in the palm of their hands and they and you're their fans and you're going to support them and send your money and listen to their music and everything like that then that's when they start getting power hungry and think they could do whatever they want so then they start going against the grain but they try to keep it all a secret this is why diddy he was having people had things happen to him just so that they don't speak out man and this is the main reason why cassie waited all this long because she knew that once keefe d made the first move and now he's in witness protection because he told the feds exactly the whole entire p diddy story exactly what happened to tupac how they planned it how they set the hit up who paid the money he gave the million dollar check to von zip and von zip was supposed to give that to keefe d the reason why keefe d snitched was because von zip ran off with the money and he got hit up randomly and so what ended up happening is that keefe d he ended up almost going broke doing this for diddy and he's catching all the heat from it he's catching all the charges so he finally realized that his only way of freedom was to do the proffer agreement because they caught keefe d doing a whole lot of dirt in the streets and everything he should have hung up his hat he was 50 almost 60 years old he needed to stop doing that a long time ago but he got caught up because it's a like the greed the jealousy the envy you know he was basically he was got caught doing one thing and they used that against him to say we'll let you go scot-free clean on that with a clean slate if you tell us what p diddy did to tupac if you tell us why tupac got hit up because keefe d was there in the car and he was the one taking the money from diddy so once keefe d made the statements to the feds and the whole entire like nypd came after p diddy and then that's when cassie knew that the feds was doing a rico on bad boys so she went ahead and basically filed her entire like lawsuit documents she gave that to the da the da took a couple of weeks they reviewed everything they waited a year to make the decision this is a couple years in the works cassie's been working on getting justice for herself since 2018 as soon as she left diddy they was in a relationship for a long time and she couldn't really do anything while they were in the relationship because she signed the nda this is what diddy makes everybody do once he, once you sign the nda you're not allowed to talk about p diddy unless you quit or do something it's got to be a 10-year buffer before you could even speak about it this is why Cassie's coming out now and the, the information coming from Keefe D, the details from Cassie's report, all the documents, it's really leading to a lot of evidence against Diddy and now he might actually get locked up for it because the new accuser stepped forward and he's looking at getting 25 to 50 years from that and this is why people realize that Diddy, he should have stopped a long time ago. He should have left Kim Porter alone. He should have left Tupac alone. Now, like, like Kamora Lee Simmons, she's got to take care of his kids and everything like that unless he goes on the run like russell simmons who knows diddy might go to bali and everything he might destroy a lot of the extra evidence he has left he has more footage he has a lot of camcorders and the security footage shows everything that happened but the one thing that he can't get rid of is gene deal and keefe d these are the two main people who's going to come up and testify against diddy in the whole entire federal hearing because they know at the end of the day that they were the people 
people who was involved like Keefe D he was heavily involved in the Tupac situation it was his crew that actually found Tupac and did the drill he was sitting in the passenger seat he literally admitted to himself and snitched on himself saying that he's the one who handed the burner to his nephew in the back seat and a lot of people are saying it wasn't even his nephew who stuck his arm out the window and let it blow it was Big Dre or somebody like that whatever it is it is basically they saying that the arm that went out the window looked like a big dude's arm and last time we checked Keefe D nephew Orlando ain't that big of a dude and so the only big big dude that was in that car was basically Big Dre or Keefe D himself this is why it goes deep and now they coming after Diddy with the Rico because at the end of the day they sick and tired of having all these rappers all these people thinking the celebrities thinking they could get away with all these different things man they, he should have kept it safe like he could have just went and did the generational wealth for his family he could have invested he could have been given back to his community but instead did he wanted to throw all them parties he wanted to keep trying to make new friends and doing all this weird stuff and being all in the videos and everything like that this is why a lot of people they really wanted to have nothing to do with diddy because they heard from 50 cent exactly how it went when he went and had a meeting with him they heard from columbus short they heard from all the people who's coming forward and speaking out man and i want to send my condolences to everybody like tupac biggie Aaliyah, kim porter heavy d and so on and so forth because there's a lot of people who got affected by the diddy situation and they didn't survive diddy and now with the whole documentaries and the movies coming out it's going to be more people saying things the more accusers is 10 more people stepping forward talking about the situation that happened to them in 1999 with p diddy in the backstage and everything like people still have a lot of like statements and things witnesses to come forward uh, of everything that happened in the backstage of all those bad boys tours everything that happened to Lil Kim everything that happened to Faith Evans and everything like that because when once Biggie and Pac got hit up this is when P. Diddy thought that he actually could get away with a lot of stuff. So he got too greedy and he kept pushing and pushing and trying to get away with way more things, man. And this is why he ended up doing this to Cassie. He started treating people wrong. He was basically just not caring anymore because he thought he was invincible. He thought anything he did, he would not be able to get in trouble for it. He felt like he was the king of New York, but that was still a title to be claimed by somebody. And now if you really ask the people, nobody, a lot of the fans that used to be fans of P. Diddy, they move into being fans of 50 Cent. They move into be fans of Tupac now. Like P. Diddy, he lost a lot of his fans. And now they're actually claiming 50 Cent to be the king of New York because... 50 Cent, he's the one who's been advocating for all of the victims. He's been advocating for Tupac, for, for Kim Porter, everybody from Cassie to like the whole situation and anybody that's involved. 50 Cent has been trying to help the families get justice and everything. This is why he's been trolling p diddy he's been like going at him back and forth they've been talking on social media sending like shots back and forth at each other and everything and it's because 50 cent he wants to buy all of the things that p diddy's losing and he's going to return them back to the rightful owners he's going to use that to sell it and get the money to get the justice for cassie tupac's family tupac's brother is still sitting there waiting for them to finish up this case because he knows how important this is of them solving the tupac case solving the biggie case and everything else Else that gets solved while they're doing that man so subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for all the updates on this